Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Parikh and I am a Masters Engineering student at Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Uh, this video is all about uh, pro, uh, having mobility of nodes in the Puja simulator of Contiki OS. And I'll also be showing you how to create a scenario that has got nodes which are mobile in the scenario of course. So before that you need to have the fresh copy of this instant contact so say for example if you already have it then all you need is vmware player well for vmware i have done uh, installation of vmware fusion within which the contact os is loaded so the id password is like user user you can just put the password and right away you will be able to see the screen so here is where we are so if you see for, if you open the contact us for the very first time you might be able to see only terminal and the wireshark as root these two icons on the desktop and the rest of would be of it would be empty empty so everything that you see is basically my own work and uh, it's very simple to start the contact us you can either start it from the terminal if at all you are starting it for the very first time uh, you will have to do it from the terminal and when you are done with the terminal for the very first time it will create this icon of puja on its own where you can right away click from the next time and then the simulator will start that is you can just uh, bypass these steps that are that i'm doing with the terminal so most of my friends are like you know they work on mobile ad hoc networks and wireless sensor networks but they don't work with iot which is very trending just because there is a lot of support already available with the simulators related to wireless sensor networks and the manet the most uh, well known are the tiny os and ns 2.35 and ns3 then there are very few who work with kuja so uh, because i started working with kuja i faced a lot of issues especially related to mobility and stuff so i thought because i have uh, figured out most of the parts now uh, I should share it so this you can see the screen over here is basically the simulator where we are yet to create a scenario but before that uh, you need to see this that the tool menu uh, won't have this mobility if you have the fresh installation so if you want to have this option that is mobility you'll have to patch it so in order to patch it all you have to do is you'll have to create a folder <coughs> called mobility and that you have to do in Contiki uh, then you go to tools then you go to Puja apps and within apps you create this mobility so mobility this folder contains number of files so from where should you get the files so the files that you need would be available at this link so this link is already uh, fused into my blog and the link to my blog I'll be I already I guess uh, I'll be putting it under this video so you can have a look at it there's this uh, there's this link which contains the list of files that you are required in order to fuse the plugin of mobility so you can see that there are two directories required and then there are number of files say there are seven files over here the same thing you'll be able to have a look of what I've already done so you need to create this uh, folder called java manually you create this folder called lib manually and then whatever files that are required say for example if i click on this lib directory it requires number of files uh, sorry uh, it's not actually there for java sorry it's for java so in the java folder there is one file required so it is called mobility.java which is required so over here you can see that it's already available over here so I've already put this uh, and then there are number of files outside also so you have to download one by one and basically all I want you to do is uh, you have to create these exact replica of the of the directories and the files within this mobility folder so once that is done all you do is you follow the steps so fine you can see that we have already done this then you start building so what do you do in order to build you just move to the mobility directory and make it as a current working directory and then you just run this command sudo and jar 
Now this sudo is basically a basic Linux command. You can you you know that very well because I hope you all must be might be working on Linux for quite a long time. And contig is nothing but a layer specially uh, developed over Ubuntu. So it's like Ubuntu only, but it's called contig just because it's specially designed for uh, IoT and WS and stuff. So well, uh, once this is done it will it might give you an error called build fail and the reason would be there is this uh, file called build.xml and you might face an issue with this on the seventh line here so this line you see might create an issue for you so previously you see uh, the address that I have provided is an absolute address over here so previously it, it, it was a relative address and because of which it wasn't able to find out the kujajar file now once you just change this save this and build it again you will be able to uh, get rid of the issue so after that once that is done all you do is you go to the go to the external to tool paths in the settings so all you do is you go over here settings external tool paths and this is the this is the window that will open so over here you have got this default project directories and then you will have to add this path at the end which contains your path to the mobility folder so that is what I have shown in my blog also with this red block you can see that clearly once that is done and again you just uh, save the options save everything and then you just shut down this entire simulator restart it again and then if you go into settings and kuja extensions you'll be able to see this options available there is mobility over here and the same thing happens to um, be over this window also so with this you can uh, just come to a conclusion that or rather i would say that it will right away add this mobility option to you but then the question is how to use it so when it comes to using this mobility all you have to do is say I'll create a test scenario for you testing underscore mobility so once that is done we'll, this is basically an initial setup I hope you all might be knowing just because this this you know, these are basically the very generic steps or the very basic steps required in order to start the the basic scenarios and stuff so again uh, the next step is to uh, insert some mode so say for example I am inserting a mode called a sky mode but then the sky mode will require some firmware so say I am browsing the firmware and within Contiki 2.7 examples there is already there are already some examples available so I will be selecting the broadcasting example which is available in the rhyme directory so here it is example broadcast so once i'm opening i'll have to compile this the compilation is done and then if there are no errors you can just create and then it will ask you how many number of nodes you want to enter so say i would like to enter four number of nodes and then you can either do random positioning linear elliptical positioning manual positioning whatever you feel like say for example i'm putting it as linear and i will say clicking on add modes it will show you four modes at four different places now there are certain things that you need to take care of when you are creating a mobility scenario or rather whenever you are creating a scenario that you have to check whether all of the four are falling into the radio range of each of them or each other or not so for that you go and just check uh, check on the radio on the radio environment so if you click this it will show you ok so the range is quite long you can just drag it near to each other and then maybe you can just you know change the transmission range so if you change the transmission range all of them get affected say for example I am putting this as say 25 and the interference range as say 40 meters in that case a lot of many things will change so see within uh, the range of 1, 3 and 2 are available so say for example I will just 
make it like this or I'll put it like this okay so one has got two and three both in range so three is not having two in range and four is completely out of the range of all of them so so you can see the basic scenario is created but then uh, once uh, you are done with the mobility uh, folder you will have this file called positions dot that and this is something you are expected to edit so I'll show you what exactly you got to do but before that there are certain mo more things that I would like you to do so you will have to put this 10 meter background grid so as so that you can understand or you can get to know the relative positions of each and every modes again you can also click on the positions and then you will be able to see the position see you already can have a look at it and then say I'll just uh, zoom out okay so I already have this positions now you can clearly have a look at the positions so again uh, if I just start this simulation right away just a minute uh, okay so if I just start the simulation you'll be able to see that it has started broadcasting messages so say I'm pausing it for a while ID 3 so you know each and every mode has its ID what you see on the right hand side of each and every mode is its position so its uh, ID happens to come from the mode ID actually okay so mode ID is something like this one three two four it's all available and a part of this you can also have a look at mode types so mode types if there is a sync mode and then there are some other modes of uh, the broadcasting modes the color will differ but as of now because all of them are of same type they are of same color that is green so again I'm starting it you can see that the broadcasting message has started you can also see the timeline of it so I'll just pause this and then I can ask you to see the radio traffic so if you just try you'll be able to see the radio traffic say for example that I'm bringing this near so you can say you can see what sort of communication they are handling again with this so say if I'm bringing this near you can see the traffic you know so that shows the traffic but what about this now you can see that this mode is uh, quite far away from the vicinity of the rest of the three so maybe um, with mobility you would like to bring this mode near to the rest of three so in that case you'll have to update this file so there are three things related to each and every mode the first one is the mode number the mode number one uh, will have its ID as 00, zero there is no would be 00, zero. this would be 01, zero 02 and 03 so I am putting it as 03 over here this is the timing so it's it can be uh, anything in terms of seconds and then you have this positions so uh, you can have a look at its current position right now see the current position is something like something like 41 50 so I'll just bring its original position to say 41 and 50 and say I'll just copy this part and paste it over here and say I'll change the timing so say at second 2 at second 3 at second three, 4 it should be brought near to to the rest of the three say for example at at point two I want it over here 30 40 so it should show over here as in say 30 40 and say I'm taking it more near to as 20 30 and then it will go even more near if you want like say um, I'll put it as 15 25 and then you just save this and just a minute so click and close it and then 
if you want this mobility for the node all you do is you go to tools you go to mobility and then you select the file so the file should be taken from Contiki 2.7 say Contiki 2.7 I am taking from uh, Contiki 2.7 tools and then I will go to Kuja uh, sorry Kuja apps mobility and it will have this file that is called position dot that so say for example I am just opening it oh sorry I made a mistake actually over here now uh, this isn't the one we are looking for so this is the uh, this is the position dot that file say I'll just take that file basically what happens every time you want to make uh, the contact EOS there are these two folders you'll always always be able to see contact 2.7 and contact key so whatever you want to fuse you just fuse in contact and then once you make everything is ref reflected within contact 2.7 so that is why you see these two folders and then you go to kuja apps and then you see you'll have this mobility so within this mobility you have this dat file right now and which is having a lot of entries so all I can do is like copy and paste it and I can you know have my own file placed at that location so actually well, I made a mistake of taking the file from this folder apps mobility you can see position or that this is what we edited actually so I'm just copying it from here closing this and I'm pasting it here so I'll replace this and I have this file which has got four entries fine so we are done with this so again say I'm going to tools mobility and mobility again we are taking this position that and open it as a part of confirmation you can just have a look at Montague 2.7 then you can go to tools puja uh, app mobility and then you can select position or that open so you can see there are four position that is what we did previously in the editing while editing that file so again when I just uh, say for example I am just start or I, I'll just reload these things reload the matter again so everything comes to zero and say when I start it takes the position you can see you can see this this is how the mobility happens now the problem with this is uh, rather its uh, nature is that whatever four positions I have put it will just keep on looping those four positions you can see I start it and then it takes four different location it goes to first part second third and it comes back to its original position so this is how you get to know exactly how the mobility happens but a part of this you can also know few of the more things like if you go to tools you can check the buffer view so say again I'm, if I'm just starting it will be able to show you the buffer buffer as in what each and every node is containing so id2 has got for some data and some sources and I don't know too much about this right now but you can check the buffer and there are some more options also related to this so I think uh, this should be enough for you to understand how the mobility scenario can be created in the contact queue especially in the Kuja simulator now as far as fusing the mobility is concerned there are some issues that I've already resolved uh, it might happen or it might not happen in your case so just have a look at my blog that's it uh, thanks a lot hope you like this video and uh, meet you in the next video uh, thanks bye